So as I was telling you previously, um, instead of picking topics, we're picking on several topics due to the amount of people requesting us to share our lives about it. Why do you think this is an important topic nowadays? Well, this is a time that's very, it's a very difficult time upon the earth right now. The the world in some ways seems to be suffering. In some ways it's beautiful because we all have a feeling that we're on the brink of something new. Uh, we've been told that it's a time of a, of a new age and the ending of another age. And, uh, you know, the world economies are precarious now. And uh, so uh, our environment and the resources do not seem as plentiful as perhaps at other times on the earth. And so some of us feel a little bit tired from our lives and the journey that we've been on and the many goals and ideas that we've had that, that in some cases have not, uh, have not yielded the results that we would have liked. And so we're, we're about halfway through the journey or, or past that, and we think or thought that it might have looked different by now. And so people are pausing and stopping, and, and, uh, and quite honestly, I, I've seen some people just have that, um, that feeling of just giving up. I'm tired. I'm done. I did the best I could, and uh, this is how far I got, and, uh, and, and that's as much as I can do. And it's particularly at this time that we really need to pause when we need to, but take that deep breath and feel the passion in, in our heart to renew ourselves in life and with ourselves and uh, with the love and the promise and the hope that we have for this earth and for this world and to continue our journey not only for ourselves but for, for the younger, for the next generation, for our companions, for the other kingdoms and elements of the earth and because we are part of, of all of that. So it's a very important time on the planet now and, uh, and more than ever where we can begin to trust ourselves the guidance that we get from a deeper place and take that next step forward, uh, I think the, the, the results or the experience would be so worthwhile. What would you say are the signs we manifest when we are living with a low self-esteem? Well, you know, when low self-esteem shows up, it can show up practically in any area of, of our life. It shows up when we compare ourselves to others the difficulty with with um with self esteem is that it's very based in the personality and it's a very subjective evaluation. There's no true measure of self esteem other than the one that we uh that we give our ourselves. So we appraise ourselves and our own worth and then our beliefs get in the way. And so if we believe that life should look a certain way or feel a certain way or that we should have accomplished something by a certain time and we haven't, then if we place that subjective and mostly false measure, if we apply that to ourselves, then our self-esteem begins to, begins to suffer. So the interesting thing about self-esteem is, is that we use that word, self-esteem, and yet it has very little to do with the self because we rarely get that far. The personality begins to evaluate it for us. And the personality is very steeped in our ideas of success and failure. And, uh, and as you know, we, we tend to look for the failures before we acknowledge the successes. They just show up. They're, they're louder and they seem bigger in our lives. So self-esteem is a concept that we need to, uh, that we need to understand. And it's a qualitative concept rather than a quantitative. So uh, in order to raise our self-esteem, we need to understand the self, we need to give that self true worth, we are worthwhile just because of who we are, because we're here, because we're breathing, because we have a heart that feels and knows and cares, that alone has a great deal of worth. We need to regard ourselves in a, in a high way because, again, of who we are, the fact that we are human and individual and unique uh, is great, uh, great awareness. And then, of course, we need to love ourselves, which many of us don't. We find it much easier to love others than to love ourselves. We find it much easier to see the, the worth or the successes of others than in ourselves. 
and then we can always work on our on our integrity whenever we're living our truth and raising that bar so that we're living for something a little bit greater every day that raises our our self esteem as well a very a practical route to constantly experience high self esteem. Uh, how can we constantly think high of ourselves? Well, one of the ways would be to to recognize that it is a, a quality that we can improve upon, that that our personality will tend to to judge it and lower that, and so we need to go beyond what the personality says and thinks to that next place or that next. Um, self, uh, we can always apply the the thoughts and ideas that we have about others, and remember that we are just a mirror of them. And it's something that we can do over over time. It needs constancy. So we need to remind ourselves in a very stable way that we are always uh, worthwhile. That life is always worthwhile. That there is always an answer or a solution to uh, a problem, and that we can't become automatic in that nature about self, self-esteem or high esteem or low esteem and realize that it's a, it's a vibration that changes like the weather changes as well. Some days it will be very high and some days it will be very low and that will pass as well. Our, our health and feels different on different days, the weather feels different, and, and our ability to to correctly assess our esteem, that changes every day as well. Do you have any suggestions for listeners on how to keep uh, as much as possible themselves within the vibration of a high self-esteem? You know, the Earth it always thinks of itself very highly. So one of the things that we can do is to find those um those things, those people, those ideas and concepts that are constant for us, that are always of high vibration. Maybe there's a, a, a color that always brings you to a good feeling or a certain uh, substance or a flower or a landscape or an environment that you can place yourself in that always restores you. Uh, and sometimes that's all that we need is just to renew our idea of the self again. And so it's not a measurable, quantitative thing, but what we can do for the quality of our life uh, has a way to restore us very quickly. Uh, Unfortunately, we have come to think as qualities of our life in some ways as consumers. What things can we add or purchase in our life that will give us a better quality of life, a higher standard? But when it comes to esteem, those things are actually things that we can just recognize from within. And so we bring them closer closer to the surface instead of deep down where um, where they're buried. My examples have always come from from the earth. I always see how the earth, no matter what, no matter what, it always renews itself. No matter what, springtime always arrives. Even when I see other animals becoming extinct for one reason or another, I know and trust that there are other newer animals that are being born onto the earth. And so everything about nature knows how to restore itself, renew itself, and and uh, not just survive, but to thrive in almost any environment. And so when we can recognize those qualities within ourselves, that allows us to, um, to raise how we feel as well. I have always found in my life certain people as well who are mentors, uh, people who are living and are around me in my personal environment and also historic figures that I very much respected for who they were or how they lived. And uh, I've made it a point to read their their biographies and particularly the parts about them that were most frail, not the great successes that they that they had or the things that history remembers them for, but the parts in their life that became very difficult, the challenges in their life and how they overcame those challenges and found themselves in a new and different place. And so I, I keep those references near nearby so that when I feel a little bit distressed uh, about life or, or where I find myself in, in life a little bit confused, a little bit lost, I, I have a touchstone, places that I return to in my mind, in my heart, 
and in my thoughts that will renew me.